everyone, Bolt Action Chick here. How are you all doing? I hope good. Um, I apologize for my lack of posting videos for the past six days. I don't know if you guys read any of my updates that I just kind of typed out and posted on my channel, but my mic took a turn for the worst, so I had to order a new one of those. And um, yeah, so I ended up ordering a Blue Yeti because I figured it would be for the best. <laughs> At least I know it won't go out on me. Um, but yeah, let's just get right back into it. I need to play around with the sound settings on my Yeti though, because I just- oop! I jump over the fence. I, um, <laughs> I'm not- it's probably not going to be the greatest quality the first time. I'm using Odyssey now with it too. So I had to figure out how to do everything, but anyways, I'll stop talking and let's just get going. Obstacles in our path. Oh, this one. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. <laughs> uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson. <clears throat> what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale. And by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Basically, Bonnie, oh, very complicated me. shit. So don't ask questions. And I apologize for my reticence. <laughs> Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. <laughs> but I bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. We will see, Miss Bonnie. We will see. I normally do really good at this, but now that I'm, you know, doing a live commentary, watch this, I'm going to fail terribly, and you guys are all going to laugh at me, but it's okay. I'd laugh, too. I would laugh, too. It's kind of unfair because I have the war horse and she has that horse. <laughs> Shh, just don't tell anybody. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. Nope. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. Oh, I better stop kicking yeah. my horse and I'm run out of stamina. Yeah, I'm sorry if I sound a little tired, guys. It's like midnight here. I had to wait till the house was good and quiet because I did notice that the Blue Yeti tends to pick up a lot of background noise. Great mic, but you know, I'll figure out how it works here eventually. <laughs> That's what Google's for, right? Google will tell you anything. Yeah. Come on. Not doing too bad here. Would you like me to slow down? Come on. Are you saving the best for last? I think I totally just cut the track there. I am such I a you're fucking starting cheater. to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland! I am such a cheater. Let's go. Ooh, I think we got this in the bag. Watch this, I'm gonna jinx myself. I always go careening off that bridge go. for some reason. Mm -hmm. 
you guys hear a little bit of rustling in the background, that's my cat. Sorry, she just kind of woke up and she's getting into something. <laughs> yeah, we got this in the bag. Look at how far back she is. Right on. Then again, I, like I said, I'm on the war horse and she's on that horse. So, I mean, I think we all expected the same exact outcome here. <laughs> go pay the marshal a visit in armadillo sometime i'm sure he could help you deal with that nice mr williamson yeah i might just do that miss mcfarland you do whatever you think is best mr marshall <laughs> oh by the way i know i said in my other videos i'm gonna keep it to like nine to ten minutes long but i've decided to just go ahead and keep it like at least around 15. Because, I mean, who makes 10 minute long videos anymore on YouTube? Like, really? I, I don't think anybody does. So, <laughs> we'll do 15 minutes. Gotta keep up with the crowd, right? Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've gotta get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> the other tussling you hear in the background is my hamster. Rains, Mr. Marston. I'll have to take her out of the room next time so you guys don't have to listen to it. I apologize. <laughs> oh god, I think I just totally <laughs> ran over some of her chickens. That, oh my god. So you tell me, have you <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. I have not. Well, that's really. Perhaps there's hope for They should have looked before they crossed the road. Har har. Har har. You can't be a racer in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar Ooh. outlook. I guess I should be paying attention to where I'm driving, huh? That, that might help a little bit. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. <laughs> I'm not even going to signify that gibberish with a response. Remember the, like, the second time I played through this? I literally... Drove the wagon off the cliff and bailed at the last minute because I could not stand listening to her talk for that long. She's not that bad though, and I gotta say, she does have the best female uh, model for um, Rockstar. I, I don't know what's up with Rockstar. They cannot make females look pretty to save their lives. Like, all of the females on multiplayer online are ugly as fuck. Perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Sorry, Rockstar. Just, you need to learn how to make snake. better female models and more. Mortals, All of us girls are left with like 14 way, female I characters to pick from, and that. you made like at least over 40 male. Consider that Red Dead Rebellion. <laughs> Yay, we made it to Armadillo. Sorry I kind of talked to that entire thing, but she bores me, so. <laughs> That's why the subtitles are there. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. Well, you can't That's hear my disc fella. spinning Thanks in my PlayStation too bad money. either. Meet me in front of the general store. If you can, I apologize. I'm just really gonna have to play with the Yeti and make sure that you guys can't hear as bad. Like, if, if any of you have experience with it and know, like, a couple tricks, leave a comment down below and let me know, you know, what could help me with that possibly that wouldn't cost me a fuck ton of money. Because I'm, quite frankly, broke at the moment. Thank 
Yay, we got our medicine. Let's go back over to Bonnie. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. At least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? <laughs> you can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. There's Herbert Moon. Racist bastard. I remember the first time I played this, um, I had no money for the stagecoach, so I was freaking out. I was like, shit, I don't know what to do. And so, like, I literally ran the whole way back to fucking, uh, oh, that was interesting. My horse was, yeah, you guys saw that. That was weird. Anyways, um, <laughs> I ran the whole way back to McFarland's ranch, got attacked by coyotes. Very traumatic experience. Uh, I did- I seriously had no idea that you could whistle for a horse at this point. And now that I'm looking back at that, that's actually fucking hysterical. <laughs> oh, Bolt action chick is a retard, guys. Alright. Yeah, I normally save the Marshall's missions for a little bit later. I normally tend to go and do Bonnie's missions first, just because, like, you get the lasso and everything, and the lasso is kind of important, especially when you're, um, going and, like, collecting bounties for wanted posters and stuff, because you get more money. So that's normally what I do. It's so sad, I've played this so many times, I have my own little routine on how to play the game. <laughs> But in all reality, this game is amazing, and I just wish that Rockstar would monitor the multiplayer a little bit better, their servers, and stop the- Whoa! Watch where you're driving, dude. Um, monitor the, the servers better, because it's just- it's sad to see a multiplayer just go to shit like that. I mean, it was so much fun. There's nothing out there, like, quite like it. I mean, and everybody's cheating. It's not a game of who can shoot who first anymore, it's a game of who can uh, freeze who first, as I've discovered. And just in case, uh, I know I have some of you on my friends list, and I'm sure you've seen, but I, um, I started playing multiplayer again. So you'll be seeing tutorial videos, I think I'm going to do just a really short tutorial video on how to keep yourself safe from getting frozen with undead bait. I'm sure a lot of people already know how to do that, but I know there's a decent amount who don't. So we're going to do a tutorial on that, and yeah. We'll see where else it goes from there. I'm sure I'm going to be doing wacky videos with my buddies again too, of course. No playing horseshoes yet. Alright, well I don't really want to start the next mission because time's almost up here, so... Hmm. I need money. Next time we play this, I'm gonna go hunting. But I think I'm gonna end the video right here, guys, because there's nothing really else for me to do that doesn't take too long. So, um, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm sorry it took me a while to get the video up. Um... I will hopefully, ooh, first let's see what kind of goodies we get, but, and I should be posting up another video at least by, I think, probably Thursday, um, we'll see, I'll be posting up part four, so, well, thank you all so much.